Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome to part 15 of my Skaven campaign with Queek and the bunch of stupid elves living on these islands over here. Which I'm gonna I'm, oh, when I, when I get the chance, I'm gonna burn these. I'm gonna burn every single one of these to the ground. And um, poor Scar, he's currently surrounded by elves, um, which is not which is not ideal. But we do have Tolkwa under siege. They are potentially going to take maybe one of our cities. Uh, but I, you know what, if, if we can take their capital then wiping them out should be no issue and as soon as I've wiped them out I'm going to attack these guys cause frankly I've had enough of their shit to be honest. Don't need to deal with that anymore. Um, Hexothel, we could interrupt or try to interrupt one of, you know what, there's no point. We could send an intervention force but I've, I've not seen really the intervention forces do much good so I'm not going I'm not going to bother. Uh, we do have some unassigned skill points. Sin Surge has got some skill points. Let's um, let's go for concealment bombs. That might be. I don't know what that does, but it might be quite. It might be quite good. Might be. Might be. Might be fun. Go for that. And uh, let's upgrade uh, Karak Zorn. It's got some gold mines in there. Have to be a little bit careful about these elves because there's two armies of them, and I th Scar could get wiped out if he's not entirely very careful. So let's hope for the best. Hope Scar doesn't get wiped out. And help talk. I mean, I'm, my hoping is that this army will land on the coast here, and that one will stay there, and then I can wipe that army out. If they both decide to hit um, Tio Squeaker, then we're in a bit of trouble. Fingers crossed. What are they doing? You are attacking Zlatlan. Yes, you're going back to the city. That's okay. Zlatlan will be fine. The annoying thing is I couldn't really do... I mean, they, they sailed all around the coast and all I could do was just follow them. X, okay, they've landed on the coast. That's fine. Um, Zlatlan is under siege. That's fine. We've got the uh, product quality. So that's missile damage for our missile units and range. That's going to be very nice. Got some uh, should we get um, unit experience, reject poor recruits, or ingenious plan? Um, new warpstone uses might be quite nice. Promoted on merit. It's more ammunition. Reduced reload time. I mean, buffing up our rat ogres might be quite nice. I don't really use the Plague Priests very much, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Ingenious Plans. Right, they have moved back to support, but I think we're in a fairly good... So let's get precise on... Uh, was it Nur Nurglost? Nurglost, he's got... He's got that. Um, can we... Can we can we can we assault those units? Success. You've knocked down some of the the strength of the cold one. Right. Okay. Right. Well. Attack. Attack. I think we're not going to get a better chance. So. I th think. Yeah. I mean, we won the last siege, didn't we, with Slatland? And that was that was pretty. That was pretty brutal, but we did win it. And I think we can win this one, so... Uh, to die, die. Indeed, Queek. Indeed. So we are taking out the city. We've got Queek backed up by Remmute. And we've already been doing some artillery bombardment. So we've taken out a tower. We've got a breach in the wall there. We're trying to take out the gate as well. Um, we've got all of the Skaven forces now moving up into position. So there's Queek Storm Vermin. Remimutes, clan rats and slaves are already hitting the wall. We're just going to uh, charge up. Get them to climb up there, run some interference. The uh, Pterodons. Sorry, the, the flying Dinosaurus Rexes. I'm going to call every single dinosaur a Dinosaurus Rex from now on. So they are Dinosaurus Rexes, flying Dinosaur Rex uh, variants here. Throwing Fire Leech Bowlers. That is that is spicy, seriously, seriously spicy. That's fine. We do have some slingers, so they're going to start lobbing stones at them. How effective that's going to be? 
Uh, 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 doing damage, I guess. That's, that's probably fine. It's probably no problem. There we go. We've got uh, breaches in the walls now. We are... Oh, they've cast the Flock of Doom, is that? Darn. It's, uh, it's not good. It's fine. It's only on a bunch of... Is that slaves or clan rats? Skaven, slave spears. Um, I have got the the mod for the more immersive banners, com battle banners now, uh, just to make the banners look a bit neat, cool, a little bit cooler. So we do have some temple guard just the other side of this wall. The pterodons, sorry, the, the flying dinosaurus rexes are now running away, flying away as quickly as they can. We've got a lot of uh, lizard men now swarming the walls, trying to repulse our slaves. Fortunately, we do have the, uh, the good old Plague Claw Catapults. We're moving up the, the Storm Vermin. That's a lot of rats. Oh, but unfortunately, they, they managed to drop a Flock of Doom right on top of us. Fortunately, it's not going to do a huge amount of damage, but um, yeah, that's why you don't bunch your units up, isn't it? Past me. The uh, warp fire throwers are. The, the, looks like the temple guard ran away. Um, so we can't flame throw them. So we're probably just going to charge through the. They, they're sort of hiding away from the breach. Maybe they learnt. Um, well, this is a different. This, is, um, this isn't uh, Zlatlan, is it? It's Talqua. So, but may, maybe the survivors of Zlatlan said don't don't stand the other side of a breach because you get flame thrown. Um, flame thrown. Is that, is that the word? Flamethrowered, you get doused with, with flammable material. Anyway, we're going to charge the storm vermin, swords and shields, straight through into the breach. There's a big fight now erupting. Uh, yeah, there's a uh, bit of plague breath being being cast. Plague breath, um, very much an ability I had last night after I'd finished my kebab. Well, actually, this morning when I woke up after after having a kebab last night. That is that is. Uh, it's, it's not pretty. So we're going to swarm over there. That's fine. We've, we've got some uh, cold one riders charging us here. That's fine. We've got the halberds. They were so the cold one riders are going to charge straight into a braced unit, and as you can see, they do do a little bit of damage. But they are going to get now absolutely hacked to pieces. Look how quickly they're going down. These storm vermin really, really are well worth it. The uh, on the wall we've been bombarding the lizard men with our plague claw catapults, and they've been taking a lot of damage. And our slaves are actually winning this engagement. Look at that. It's a lot of lizard men trying to uh, trying to get. I think they're trying to reinforce this block here because we have I mean we, we've definitely got a foothold inside the city now the um, plague wind uh, yeah the not plague wind I'm thinking poison wind that's it poison wind uh, globe ears finishing off a unit of cold ones there but some more reinforcements coming down now so we've got another unit of uh, two units of or blessed one cold ones and uh, blessed horned ones so they're gonna go charging straight to this blob of uh, clan rats. We are managing to get our units into the city now. Some clan rats there we use to finish off the, the cold ones. As you can see we're moving our warp fire throwers in now. We've got some blocks of um, storm vermin. Sort of like uh, try and block off this part of the city. If we can block off parts of the city we can bring in our, our um, poison wind and death wind um, globe ears and start lobbing things over the top of our of our sort of like a front line and that's exactly what I think that's I think that's the perfect sort of tactic for the Skaven during a city siege is sort of like draw up a line bring in your um your bombardier your globadier units and then start smashing them and warp fire throws as well are always good As you can see they're bringing other there's some there's some dinosaurus rexes there's a, an ancient stegiodon and a bastiliodon with revivication crystal that's not good. And as you can see, the Skaven Storm Vermin going flying. We need to get our Poison Wind Globideers out 
Uh, and try, oh, well, I think they're engaged in combat. Yes, some of them are engaged in combat. Need to get them out of there. We now have the walls. The walls are now under our control. But they do have a large blob of reinforcements coming in. However, the ancient Stegodon is getting pelted with poison... Uh, yeah, poison wind globes. That's right. I was right there. But we do have... Oh my god, there's like four Dinosaurus Rexes. Looks like there's three Stegid... No, two blessed Stegiodons, an ancient Stegiodon, and a Bastiliodon. Warp fire throws moving in on the flank. Warp fire throws are trying to roast a Dinosaurus Rex. Will that work? Who knows? Um, but, you know, whatever. Just, just keep throwing stuff. One of the um, Dinosaurus Rexes is, is running away. Is that two running away? Three running away. They're all running away, but we don't want them to try, we don't want them to recover. Um, so we're going to try and chase them down with these clan rats. And we've got some night slingers there, so they're going to try and uh, finish that off. It is, it's, you know, it's kind of working, but they are. It's just a lot of stones. I mean, they, they basically had to bury it under pebbles to actually kill the thing. Yeah, lot, throwing stones at a stegodon is is not probably good. Come on, and again. You can get it down. You can kill it. Almost. Almost. It's on 28 health. Come on, guys. Kill it. Boom. There he goes. And it's dead. We have buried it on the pebbles. We have managed to absolutely crush the Lizard Man counterattack. But uh, it was, you know, we, we did lose some units ourselves. Uh, currently, um, we've lost... So that's 700 700 Skaven but most of those are going to be slaves so it doesn't really matter um, one of our units of Storm Vermin did take an absolute pounding there down to 48 units left it's a Plague Wind uh, or Death Wind Globideers being thrown at these uh, Cold One Spear Riders and as you can see it's going to be doing horrific damage to them absolutely devastating Yep, that's, uh, that's that's not bad. They do still have some units in reserve. Some reinforcements. Maybe the AI didn't know what to do with them. So they do have some... they got some Saurus with spears and some Temple Guard. And they do have some units also protecting the, um, the city centre. However, we now control the front of the city. And we're going to start bombarding the units down over here. Oh, the Skaven, Victor the, the Slaves, or Clan Rats, Victorious, are going to just swarm the enemy. So some blessed Cold One Spear Riders here. We're just going to mob them. And over here we are going to take the city centre, but there are some uh, Croc Score. Croc Score. So we're going to get our Halberdiers up into a line. We're going to get our uh, Poison and Deathwind Globideers up behind them. And then we're going to push slowly up so we can bombard them. And if they do try and charge, then they'll hit straight into the Hellbuds and uh, hopefully take a lot of damage. You can see our, our swarm is doing pretty well. We just li I mean, I, I've literally just gone, just kill everyone. We've got some Rat Ogres in there to help as well. Uh, now throwing some cold one blessed uh, blessed cold one spear. In comes the doom wheel as well. That's it. Run him over. He's dead. Good job. That's uh, that's pretty shocking. Over here, the crocs of gore are now being pelted. Uh, it's doing some, some pretty nasty damage. Ideally, they, they, I think they should have really charged me, but um, they, they probably, yeah. They have they have gone out of control, and they're going to charge the halberds. But um, I don't think they're not they're not going to do particularly well. There's another unit of Croxagore coming in again. They're taking a lot of damage. Yeah, they're not. 
they're not doing very well, are they? These I do the, the poison wing glo uh, globideers are a really good unit. In fact, I would say they're almost necessary for taking out large. Um, against the lizard men, I think they're they're probably absolutely they're, they're probably one of the best units to take because Croxagore just don't die otherwise. But just get some poison wing globideers and uh, they get they just absolutely melt. I mean, in, in some cases, probably literally, because I don't know what they put in those Poison Wind Globideers, but it probably isn't very good for your skin. Over here, there's a mass brawl erupting. The, uh, the Doom Will is, is well and truly in the fight there. Is that sensible? Maybe not, but he has he is sending lizard men flying, and he's keeping a lot of them occupied, so that's... That's probably good. He's up to 34 kills, and a lot of the... I mean, there's a... Bless Skink Skirmishes are... Looks like they're making a break for it. And now they're being charged from another direction. The units here are breaking, uh, yet the entire... The entire army has now taken enough damage that they are all breaking. So how much... I mean, the Poison Wing Globe has got 28, 24... Uh, sorry, that's a that's, yeah. Poison Wing got 28, Death Globe got 24, Poison Wing got 33. That's that's pretty good, really. Um, what fire throw? Didn't really get to see much action, but um, yeah, a pretty a pretty effective siege battle, I think. So there we go. Nice straightforward victory there. It, yeah, do tell, do tell. Um, okay, so we got some food, we got some cash. Is that it? That's it. Okay, great. And we will... We're just going to loot and occupy. Top quiet is going to run away there. It's uh, Niji. Got some more skull. All very nice. Uh, we... Oh no, it was... It was I thought the uh, the view was a bit skew but it wasn't. It's fine. Right, remember you're going to have to get down to Zlatlan as quickly as possible to relieve that. Queek, you're just going to hold position here. Uh, a putrid rice bog. I mean, that sounds very appealing. Absolutely. Uh, nothing interesting to be built there. Um, right. And also, we have Scar here. And an elf army to kill. Uh, really? You think? I mean, I'm fairly sure I've killed something, beaten an army bigger than that before. But um, okay, and we we are going to get some reinforcements, so that's that's nice. But I I think it shouldn't be too difficult. Famous last words, maybe. Out on the coast here, it looks a bit stormy out to sea, doesn't it? Yep, a little bit of a little bit of storm going on there. Scar is going to try and deal with these elves. The elves are sort of like uh, they, they've they've landed and they've taken position on this little it's like a little bluff here um, next to a stream. How that's, that's very nice, isn't it? They do have um, so they've got a couple of units of Phoenix Guard. Yeah, two units of Phoenix Guard. They've got some spearmen, uh, sword masters of Hoeth there, uh, some Lotharan Sea Guard, you know, some Anarian Rangers, White Lions. Spearmen, spearmen, uh, archers, and they've got some artillery. Uh, so it's not all too, it's not, it's not too bad. Uh, they do have a moon dragon as well and a frost heart phoenix. We are waiting for our reinforcements to join up. Here they come. These are defend uh, reinforcements from the city. We're going to get some slingers, some clan rats, all that kind of good stuff, and we are going to be moving our artillery up into range. Um, That should be f yeah. I mean, I I think we'll probably. I mean, I think we have the artillery advantage. Although they do have the same, uh, we've got two units of plate claw catapults. They've got two um, bolt throwers, but I think ours are probably going to do more damage, uh, especially because the plate claw catapults do magical damage, and these Phoenix Guard have physical resistance plus thirty percent. So ideally, we want to be targeting these guys because they'll take full damage from those plate claw catapults. Whereas in in the melee combat. They will prove um, quite difficult to kill. Hey, shut up. We're beautiful. Beautiful little ratties. 
Yeah, you know, Scar is moving up into position. There he is with his uh, his Rat Ogre entourage. Let's just uh, speed things up a bit until we get all our units into position. There we go, we're just going to creep up. Ideally maybe I should have moved the Plague Claw Catapults up until, because I think I've got a slightly longer range, but um, they do start hitting the Slaves, but I'm not, I'm not particularly bothered by that. I don't think their artillery is, is too much of an issue but we are going to start trying to hit these phoenix guard however the ai has picked up a brand new trick which is uh preempt where the artillery is going to go and then move out of its way which is incredibly obnoxious now we did manage to clip somewhere and as you can see it did, it did a fair fair chunk of damage what i found is that if you actually target a unit the unit will notice and run away whereas if you just leave it to, to random fire it will just they, they don't seem to, to know where it's headed so I think that's I think that's right anyway um, so anyway the, the elves are milling about in confusion not sure what the plan is there panic apparently they're just screaming and running in circles because they're being hit by goo So far, you're just running back and forth, panicking, so I'm not particularly concerned. As you can see, the Phoenix Guard taking horrific damage from this artillery. That the, the Elf Army in general has been uh, taking quite... I mean, they've almost 100 dead already. Those Plague Claw Catapults doing the Great Horned Rat's work. They really are. Uh, yeah, 38 kills on that one, 35 on that one, doing fantastic Oh, look at that. What, what, a, what a cracking shot. Ha! I can't wait until they add the, uh, the blood and gore pack. So the elves are going to try and... Oh, what's, what's he doing? Is he a mage? He is a mage. Ouch. That's a stung, but that's okay. Because uh, we outnumber the the elves three to one, so uh, not not a problem. The Phoenix Guard taking fairly massive damage. Mostly because they're just sort of like I, I don't know what their, what their plan is here. Just sort of mill about in confusion, I think. Can we can we target this great big blob here? That would be. That would be great. Where, where are we running away? Oh yes, yes. So we, we've summoned some units to deal with the um, the artillery. So as you can see here, lots uh, the both artillery um, units have been taken care of. Looks like they are finally deciding to cross the river now that our artillery is all dead. And they, yeah, they're, they're, they've taken. They've ta yeah. Look at that. Most of those units are on half health. That's how much damage they've taken from the plague claw catapults. That unit of Swordmasters is as is is almost breaking. Oof. Oof. That's just that. Ah, oh yes. These the hundred kills, one hundred and forty-three kills. Oof. Um, the enemy general has apparently. Oh no, it's a noble. Has oh, and the general. Are they both charged in here? Yes, the prince is there and a noble have charged these unit of night runners on the flank and now our, our rat ogres have charged in to finish them off. There are some elves trying to reinforce their leader and his impetuousness. However, that's not going to work out very well. We also have some units over here. So the Alarian Reavers and the Dragon and the Frostheart Phoenix have attacked our, sl our slave sl uh, slingers over here. But um, the rest of the slingers have turned around and started pelting them with rocks. So that's, that's not going so well for them. Well, for either of them, to be honest, but uh, I don't really care about the slaves. 
So we do have some unit of clam rats with shields for engaged. The spearmen over here, they're, they're not particularly happy, but it's okay because we've got lots more clan rats. Play claw catapults continuing to fire and continuing to find their mark. What are we up to? 148, 158. Good work there. The wizard is is standing back and just watching things unfold. Is that a wizard? A lawmaster of Hoeth. Oh, I guess he is. I didn't realise the lawmasters were wizards. I suppose that makes sense. They are lawmasters after all. Um, some reavers have attempted to charge these units here. They've attempted to charge the rat ogres. That's not that's not a good idea. Rat ogres are particularly particularly good at punching things in the face to death, as I found out. So this prince is currently undergoing that particular process of being punched in the face to death. And uh, we've we've got some um, archers over here, some Lothran Seaguard, who are being hit by our clan rats. And uh, we're summoning some more clan rats to um, to engage these archers over here. So they're getting hacked to pieces. And we've got these units utterly surrounded. Playclaw Catapult is continuing to pelt away. The dragon here has um, charging. I think he's trying to help the prince. But again, you know, trying to fight rat ogres. Rat ogres now punching it in the face to death. And uh, yet yeah, Scar and Scrag in particular, in particular doing doing good work there. Yeah, that, that dragon just took a right punch in the face. In comes the Frost Heart Phoenix to uh, to also get some of that treatment. I'm not sure that's a wise idea. That dragon is uh, pretty much on its last legs. And the elves are now utterly surrounded and being hacked to pieces. The last few units of Phoenix Guards still doggedly fighting on. But, um, I mean, they've racked up some kills, but they are completely outnumbered. Especially because now, we, we, as you can see, we're flanking this unit of Lothran Seaguard and uh, they break as well. So they're going to try and get away from the Skaven. And uh, yeah, I think the entire army is now on its way out. Yeah, the Frostfire, Frostheart Phoenix and the Moon Dragon um, trying to fly away up this cliff. Bye, guys. That artillery just, just amazing. Good stuff. Um... Quite like the replenishment. Food would be. Ah, that's great. We're going to eat the captives. There we go. Delicious. Delicious elves. And uh, Scar is, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely brave. Let's uh, finish off. Boop. There we go. Bopped them. And uh, we've lost a unit of Skaven slave slingers, but never mind. We will eat the survivors, and we've got a giant blade for our trouble, and a pet wolf rat. And they are dead. Good stuff. Um, I really would like to recruit some better units for Scar, but we just don't have the availability at the moment. We're going to hold on to Tio Squeaker. Remember, Mute is going to relieve Zlatlan. Queek is going to just hold position for the moment, and then take out um, the what's left of um, these lizard men and we're going to give us going to assassinate we'd like to get death's head maybe maybe captain mechin gear let's go and grab that uh yeah we'll have some shiny boots and fresh recruits campaign movement speed that's going to be useful and we're going to go and grab uh yeah let's let's land oh no let's go and grab that first go and grab the uh, fell cargo and we'll get the, the, the barrels of rum. Wax sealed rations. Minus 10 for all units. And is that faction wide? I think it might be. Is that? Maybe it's just faction wide. Attrition. Uh, let's go. That's fine. Yeah. And uh, we will land. And uh, making, making gear finally back on dry land after a long time. How do you feel? Is, is, it, is it weird that it's not moving around? It's not lurching everywhere, maybe. Um, okay, that's fine. Good. Uh, Tio Squeaker is... You know what? We would be nice to get some better units, but... No, I'm not going to... 
There's no point because it's only Tora Lesser over here. Once they felt when, once they're finished with, there'll be no reason to come back here to recruit. So I'm not going to spend anything there. Um, but let's upgrade these bits. That's fine. We're going to get Queek over. Deal with Tora Lesser, and then we're we're going to finally deal with Tora Lesser. I need to get some better units for Scar. Um, so that uh, he can join in. Caracas has got a skill point. Let's go for let's go for Vermintide. I think would probably be probably be good. And we've got Scar has got a skill point. What are we going to pop that? Uh, Scar, you are doing. I, f I feel like giving him life is cheap was a was a bad option, but the replenishment is nice. Skaven slaves though, garbage. Um, we may, I mean, we can't undo it, so we may as well just. Get, I mean, the, the extra casualty replenishment rate is is quite nice, um, but the, I guess maybe it's so you can fill out an army with slaves and like throw them into combat repeatedly, but Scar is just too good for that, frankly. Looks like the. Uh, the New World Colony is actually doing quite well for themselves, for once. Yeah, let's speed all that up. I'm not, not really interested in what... what old Skrulk is doing over there. Are you going to attack? Yes, I thought you might. That's fine. I can wipe you out next turn. Ursharan, uh, I'm not. No, I don't want a non-aggression pact. I might have to kill you. Uh, Talqua is under siege. Ambush discovered. Dirk Posner. So they're taking out the Wood Elves. That's good. We've got the ingenious plan. So uh, what? Right. So we can get. Armor for storm. Oh, I mean, armor for storm bombs might be quite nice. More ammunition is going to be good though. I know those plague claw catapults are just invaluable. It's going to take eleven turns, but I think it's going to be well worth it. Um, right, Queek, I think you can. You can pretty much just. Oh, we lost. Oh, sodding hell, the doom wheel. The auto resolve really just does like to wipe units out. God damn it! Ah, oh, shoot. Damn it, that takes ages to recruit as well. Sod it. Sod it, sod it, sod it. Right, fine. Eat, eat captives. Oh, I should have fought it, but it's just so... The pipes are piebald. Piebald strange helmet has pipes connected which allow a form of mind control the foe is mesmerised on approach. Uh, constant. Engaged. Disabled of engaging melee. It, it reduces speed, uh, charge, speed and charge bonus. Huh. Fine, okay. And uh, mechan gear, you're gonna set up a. Uh... Yeah, we'll colonize that one. Is there anything interesting to build? Uh, we can build marble quarry. Yeah, may as well, why not? And uh, Queek, you're gonna rush over and assist Scar. Damn it, we need. We lost a stupid do. I need to get a new do mill. Quick. Uh, 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 no, that's fine. What I, I might do. It, might get. Shall we get a new warlord? Um. No, I'm going to hold off. Oh, it really annoyed me losing my do mill. Since I, I want you to have a look around. Let's, let's go into undead territory, have a sneak around, just have a look, see what's going on. While we uh, build up, going to build up our territory there. We can let's go for expansionist planning. We're losing food, and those guys still have the serpent coast. But it's not much we could. I, I really, that army is pretty beefy, so I'm probably going to need Queek's help to take it on. I mean, that number of. That's just a lot of Phoenix Guard right there. They've got Dragon Princes, a Star Dragon. That's that's not a. That's not fun. Uh, we're going to go for Arms Dealer. I think more ammunition is good.
Um, I, th I mean that is a tiny art. I'm fairly sure we can win that quite convincingly, but it really doesn't say that we can. Um, but well, I th yeah, I think we're this. Uh, it shouldn't be. A d we've got clay called catapults. We've got lots of. I think it should be a fairly straightforward battle. To be honest, it's just the auto resolve is constantly against the Skaven. It, the, the, the auto resolve looked really against us. The current balance of power. I mean, there's 1,764 against 126. Uh, mind you, this army is, I would say, roughly 70% slave units um, versus a star dragon. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. However, we have we've managed to hit the star dragon with the plague claw catapults. It hasn't done much damage. We've also got a frost heart phoenix. Uh, some chariots there, there's a unit of swordmasters, some Illyrian reavers, and a princess. The dragon's certainly probably going to be the, uh, the main issue here. We are on a choke point map, so they are going to have to... Oh, crap, what was that? Just got fired by a laser beam. Um, they're playing on a choke point map here. So we have managed to block it off. We do have some units of clan rats holding position in the rear there. We've got some um, night runners with slings. Some Skaven slaves. Some Skaven slaves over there. I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with this dragon. That's the only thing. We have hit it with a whirlwind. So it's sort of locked into position. I'm hoping what we can do is now hit it with our slings and do some damage. The Illyrian Reavers coming charging straight across the, uh, the causeway there. Going to counter charge with our clan rats. The frost heart phoenix is getting pelted with rocks and it's doing barely any damage, so that's that's good. Sword masters now coming across as well. The frost heart phoenix is going to come. Where, where was he going? Uh oh, Remamute, duck, I won't dodge. Throw some Skaven slaves at it. Oh crap! That's uh, so, okay. So Remamute has gone flying there. Um, we do have uh, Caracas, and where is he? Is it Nurglost? I think it's Nurglost. There's a, yeah, Nurglost there are engaging the, the Star Dragon. The Star Dragon currently up to 21 kills and climbing rapidly. However, it is taking damage. Um, but it's decided just to wade, wade its way through. Uh, Remamute, duck. No. Remamute is currently being punted around by this stupid overgrown turkey. Come on, Remamute. Fight back. It. Punch it in its stupid bird face. The uh, the dragon is uh, currently using Skaven as a, it's not even bothering to stop. It's just wandering off. However, it is, it has taken damage. So uh, if we can keep it up. In comes Caracas and, and Nurglost. There goes Nurglost. Uh, Nurglost has gone. He's he's fallen back, but not by his own choice. In comes Remimute as well. Nurglost, are you coming back? Are you joining in? Yeah, you are coming back. Good, good job. That's what I like to see. That's perseverance for you. You know, if you get if you get thrown back by a dragon, just you know, come right back into it. The the stu oh, the reavers have come back. The the chariot is continuing to be a bit of a pain, but we have hit it with uh, we are hitting it with the plague claw catapults. Princess is in the back there. The sword masters are currently up to seventy three kills. And uh, doing pretty well for themselves, it must be said. They are up against mostly slaves, though, so that's not a massive surprise. The Star Dragon still... I mean, he's, 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 we're chipping away at him, but he's hes not... Yeah, he's... Oh, my God. Yeah, okay, he's up to 58 kills. And causing terror amongst our units as well. The Frostheart Phoenix is... is yeah, still... He's, he's breaking things. That's that's less than good. We're trying to hit the princess with our play claw catapults, but we're not that accurate. Uh, the sword masters, uh, the, the dragon punted a load of Skaven behind them, who then rear charged them. So if anything, the dragon just helped to kill those guys off. The dragon's disengaged from combat and is now going to, yep, yeah, breathe fire all over us. Remmute has been punted across the battlefield and has now been roasted. So he's not having he's not having the best day. It's one of those days where you really wish you'd just stayed in your burrow, isn't it? 
Uh, we defeated most of their land units. We have used a unit of, of summon clan rats to, to chase off the chariots. The chariots are on 69 health. Can we can we get them? No, they're gonna they're gonna weigh the princess. Is uh is up to 48 kills. She's been doing well for herself. However, Nurglost has decided that maybe we can if we can kill the princess, maybe we can break the entire army. That's what I'm hoping at the moment. I'm not sure I'll be able to kill the dragon, but maybe I can kill the princess. So in comes Nurglost. She's not looking. That's it. Come on, Nurglost, get in there. Uh, but the dragon looks like he's... He, oh, he's taking, he's taking a lot of damage, but... Uh, are we going to be able to kill it? So Nurglost and the princess going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Who's winning the engagement? Looks like uh, Nurglost is winning decisively. Oh, but the Frostheart Phoenix is... Oh, there goes Nurglost. Come on, Nurglost, get up. You got this. Come on. Just cut its face off. But we get, you get some reinforcements. And uh, they're going to just hack that bird to pieces. Come on, get in there. Yeah, that bird is uh, is off. The dragon is also flying away, and the princess is is in retreat. There we go, victory. Although that was quite a costly one. That was a tad closer than I thought it was going to be, but um, that's fine. Did get a little bit of food. Uh, let's get the replenishment. Are you running off to now? Oh, looks like uh, Mechan Gear got off the seas just as just in the nick of time. It looks, it looks quite stormy out there, quite blowy. Probably probably best to be back on dry land. Oh, that's a lot of dwarves. That's a that's a lot of yep. There's quite a few dwarves there. We're, no, we're gonna have to do something about those guys, but um, maybe not just this this second. Uh, yeah, they, they keep wanting us to raid that. We're not going to do that, right? Um, can let's let's take these guys out. That's yeah. That's all right. I swear, if we lose a character or something, I'm gonna right. Okay, that's fine. They're dead. Good. Um, Let's take the food. That, that dragon should give us way more food because uh, it's huge. Got also sculptor, excellent. Rimmer mute now has a skill point. Let's pop that in. Inspiring presence. Uh, Caracas. Let's go for plague rash. Itchy, nasty. Bubos are spread as the spell of plague are cast, infecting the enemy populace with sickness. Sounds horrible. And uh, Nurgloss, you, you did pretty well, pretty well in that battle. You were taking out that, that general, weren't you? So that's pretty... Uh, has he got poison attack? Yes, let's get venomous blades, because poison attack is going to be pretty good. And uh, let's pop you in Zlatlan, just to just our keep control. Queek, let's march you down to the Golden Tower. And mechan gear. Let's give you. Um, Skaven Scorch. Sure, why not? Build nothing there. No, we do quite a lot of cash though. Which is quite nice. I think what I might do is we'll get Boil. Boil Rin. Um. Yeah, we get Boil Rin. He's not particularly happy, but what we're going to do is we're going to get some... What would I like Scar to have? He could do with some Storm Vermin. And I... You know what? Some Fighting Elves... Lots of archers, so let's get a couple of fire throwers. 
Large units, not so much. We'll be fighting the undead soon. They do have quite a few large units. Let's get a couple of poison wing globes and, of course, a doom wheel to replace the one that I lost. So that's what that's that's what they, you're going to get up to. And uh, I don't, yeah, and I'm not going to. Temple Avenue of Gold is yeah. Let, well, let's upgrade to the Undercity. And I do we get chained sentry beasts there? Clan Mulder rejected rat ogres and others are conscripted and chained to key defensive junctions and outposts. The handlers unleashing them are trespassers. Um, it might be quite good to have that. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. And um, what do we have? Anything? Uh, let's go for it. We, I would like walls at Lost Plateau because there's a lot of dwarves wandering around. I don't like that. That makes me nervous. And uh, Sin Surge is going to have a little look around. There's a lot of undead. The last defenders are over there. It's, it's interesting seeing the names of the... Um, of the cities down here because I, I read the the Nagash trilogy and a lot of the, the cities are mentioned in that it's really sort of interesting to see the because the tomb the tomb kings uh, were quite a late addition to Warhammer um, so you didn't really get much lore sort of around this area of the map so it's quite interesting to see the city names Scro geez scroll we've got a lot of sensor bearers Rock's doing way better than we are. Mind you, you know, I, th I think if we just didn't have those stupid elves, we'd be fine. What I would like is an agent so I can send them over there to have a look about, wh about what the elves are doing. I sh really should have done that. Didn't have the cash though. Uh, yeah, let's just hurry up. Fine. Beardy dwarves. Stay where you are. I'll be right back to deal with you very soon. Right, Confederation is there. That's fine. Can we recruit a character? We can't. Ah, we can recruit one there. Where is that? Kingdom of. Where's Kingdom of Beasts? There. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Um, let's go for a rat. Um, quite the name you've got there. You can go over there. That's fine. Uh, quick. Let's move you down to Gold Tower. How's uh, you, you, your your loyalty is going up? So that's fine. Let's give you the Wailing Banner. Uh, standard of discipline. Let's give you the Trickster's Helm. Let's give you a Giant Blade. Let's give you Dawnstone. And skull. If that doesn't cheer you up, I don't know what will. Never say I don't give you anything, because I do. Uh, no, you don't have you don't have low loyalty anymore. Uh, Captain Mechengear, you are. I mean, I, I feel like you're you're itching to get back on the high seas, and uh, there's a mysterious island over there with your name on it. If your name really was on that island, that would be pretty ruddy mysterious, wouldn't it? I don't think that's probably the case. So, right, um, Remember Mute. And you know what? I think we need everyone. We need everyone to hit Toralessa. So let's get you over there as well. So we're going to retake the Serpent Coast and then launch an assault on Toralessa and finish them off once and for all. But that will have to start next episode. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.